Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie, Vegas edition. We are in Las Vegas, Planet Hollywood. Today we'll be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. And today, who's making my drink? The Tipsy Robot. Let's go inside. I don't even know if I just won or lost. Uh, hey, all right, so Spider-Man Homecoming, directed by John Watts, starring Tom Holland, Robert Downey Jr., and Michael Keaton. And this is Spider-Man's first outing in the MCU, his first full movie, and it's okay. Um, so this time, Spider-Man's back in Queens, I think is where he's from, uh, and he's trying to just figure out how Spider-Man works, how he's becoming Spider-Man. He's figuring out um, just, learning his, his powers, learning how strong he is, how weak he is, and also trying to navigate high school. Uh, and, you know, all the all the parties being bullied. Oh. So this time the bully is more of a class bully instead of a physical bully. It's the richer kid, the kid that, you know, gets his dad's car for the prom, uh, that kind of thing, the big houses. And Peter uh, at one point goes to a, one of the house parties where there's like the DJs and the and it's Flash Thompson again, and Flash Thompson's just this rich kid that just is always making fun of him because he's this poor kid from Queens living in that same small apartment you see in uh, Captain America Civil War. Now, here's what I liked about this movie. The cast, the cast, the cast is so wonderful. Tom Holland as Spider-Man is probably the best Spider-Man we've had on screen. I really like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's okay, but Tom Holland just killed it. He has the look, he has the voice, uh, he has the awkwardness, but he's also very funny, and he was just uh, fantastic. Robert Downey Jr. also doesn't phone it in as well. He is right there, and um, Michael Keaton is wonderful as the Vulture. Um, he, except he's a, he's a little bit too sympathetic, not too sympathetic, he's a little bit too uh, kind of toned back. He's not as menacing as he probably could be uh, in terms of like being very, like, just has a killer instinct. He doesn't really have that. He's more trying to just take care of his family any way he can. Um, but Robert John Jr. once again is back as Iron Man and he's really good. Uh, you have uh, John Favreau is in there and he, you know, back as Happy. Really good as well. And so the cast is easily the best part of this movie. All right, so they kicked me out of the casino because I lost all my money. But who needs the casino? Who needs to be in Planet Hollywood? I got Paris. I got Caesar's Palace right over here. I got whatever that building is. It's new. Who knows? There's no way to know. Anyway, cons of Spider-Man Homecoming. Here it comes. Uh, the action sequences were a mess. I couldn't see half the things that were going on. There were two large sequences that were filmed and set in at nighttime. Uh, the big one at the end, and there's one in the middle, and I couldn't see anything, and it was just such a jumble. It wasn't so much shaky cam, but there was a lot of editing, and uh, to me, that's like 50% of a comic book movie. You have to have good action sequences, and this didn't. Second, it's too long. It's uh, about two hours and 20 minutes long. Uh, I think about 20 minutes too long, and uh, I just... They could have trimmed it down quite a bit. Also, they wanted it to be kind of a John Hughes type feeling, which they got there with the high school stuff, but then they end up actually physically showing a scene from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You don't need to bat me over the head with it. Guys, I get it. You want to be a John Hughes movie, also a superhero movie. Cool, we did it. 
Uh, so you didn't need that in there. Second, the story was a little bit of a, of a jumbled mess. Um, I, I didn't feel like there were any real consequences. It was more, it was the most Disney Marvel movie uh, to date. So, long and short of it, the movie was just okay. We're in Vegas. Uh, the movie was just okay. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. I was a little disappointed because I was expecting a lot more from Spider-Man. Uh, I'm giving it a three drinks out of five. And there's the three. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> thank you so much everybody for joining me here in Vegas. Catch you later. Here is drinks in a movie uh, on location. Bye-bye.